Okay, welcome back to the channel. I had a really interesting couple of comments over the last couple of days um, on IL-2 and uh, the video I made about uh, turning anti-aliasing off. I want to thank A. Gordon, who wrote and gave me a really, really good suggestion. As you may have noticed, I've struggled with uh, finding a way to show just one view screen on the videos rather than both views from both eyes which makes everything look compact and kind of weird on the video. And A. Gordon showed me uh, how to modify the config file just to show either right eye or left eye. So thank you for that. You are a genius and a gentleman, and uh, I really appreciate it. And then I had uh, Dakota Kid with a really interesting point. He thought that perhaps the reason I was getting an increase in frame rate when I uh, turned anti-aliasing off was uh, not exactly because of that. He, th he thinks it's because when I rebooted the game with anti-aliasing on, it came up in higher resolution. I don't think that's what I did. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. But I may have described it that way in the video because I'm capable of, of getting things backwards when I talk at just about <laughs> any given time. So anyway, I thought, that's a really interesting question. So let's give it a try. Um, I'm going to set it up right now in settings. I'm not going to change the I'm not going to change the resolution of the of the game at all. Screen resolution I'm leaving alone. I'm leaving it in full screen. Um, MSAA is on now with anti-aliasing set to four out of I think a possible eight. Yeah. So I mean I. I, I'll set it f at four, and we'll give it a try. Let's see if if turning anti-aliasing off makes a difference. I'm I'm not going to fly for very long. I'm just going to get a quick mission, and and away we go. Okay, soft with camel, that's fine. I'm going to try and keep this a fairly short video, so you may notice some edits, um, because I want to edit out some of the loading time. I mean, ILS takes a long time to load. It was the champion of long loading times until uh, Flight Sim 2020 came along. I'll tell you, though, both of them are worth it once they're once they're going. Oh, this wasn't so bad. Okay, let's just start this now. Okay, so we've got anti-aliasing on. And I'm showing 38, 39 frames per second. And if I can figure out how to get the game started, I know there's a way. There we go, right here. Notice I used the recenter button to get myself in a better spot behind the uh, behind the gun sight. Doesn't really matter for this demonstration because I don't. I'm not trying to see how clear the view is or. Well, that looks pretty good though. Forty, forty-one frames a second on one readout. Thirty-nine. So I've got my Nvidia readout is uh, maybe a little more generous, but for the most part, both frame rate counters are showing between thirty-nine and forty-one frames per second. Okay. Let's get out of this. Okay, so we, before we uh, go back to the game and try it, let's make sure we've changed our settings. And when I say our settings, I mean my settings. <laughs> Anti-aliasing has been slid to off. Nothing else has changed. The resolution has not changed on the reboot. So let's give this a try. Don't need to reboot. Let's try a quick mission again. Same quick mission. Because again, this isn't about IL-2, this is about um, 
the Pimax crystal headset and anti aliasing. See, the theory is, and Omni whatever, one of my beta test colleagues, uh, pointed this out to me that the crystal has such high pixel density that really it shouldn't need anti aliasing to avoid jagged lines. So we'll see if that's, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's true. I've tested it before. But like, uh, like Dakota Kid had that really interesting question. I thought, all right, well, we better check it out. All right, here we are. And I am showing 65, 64, 67 frames per second. I think when we get into busier landscapes and more crowded environments, it will fall off. But with anti aliasing off and no other changes, no resolution change, not higher, not lower, I see 20 to 26 frames improvement. And that's something. Well, that was worth checking. And so, thanks to uh, Dakota Kit and uh, for the really interesting question. And, uh, and thank you to A. Gordon again for showing me how to display just one of the uh, lenses on screen. I hope it makes for a better viewing experience for you, and I hope this has been useful for you. And I thank all of you for joining me. And I really thank those who take the time to make a comment and help me make the channel better and make my videos better. I appreciate all honest criticism, and uh, I, I don't take it to heart, I don't take it personally, but I do take it seriously. So if you've got a suggestion to make, something you'd like to see on the channel, uh, in terms of the Pimax Pistol, or the 8KX, or flight scenes in general, leave a comment. If I can make it happen, I will. Okay, thanks again.